Hello everybody, in this show, short video I just show you how to repair Acer Aspire. This is my lappy, so what we have to do, just turn this over upside down, remove four screws, one, two, three, four, I already, I already did it. Now remove that panel. Okay. As you remember from my previous video, the problem was with uh, this chipset here. And what I'm going to do is just going to quickly unscrew those screws. Unplug the fan. Now. This is the NVIDIA chipset. I will refer this to my previous video. I just showed on my previous video how this laptop failed to start. You can see that video on YouTube. If you just search well, you can find it. Okay, now be very careful and check your laptop because this area is full of dust which basically blocks the airflow and causing the chip is overheat. That's that hint sink. This area is blocked by dust and that caused that your lap is, is just give up working the chipset we will have to warm up with uh, hot air is this one so basically what you do you have to dismantle your lap as I did remove that uh, foil and heat it up this area with hot air gun. I already did it, as you can see there is slightly overheated area which I don't mind, I never looked at this thing twice. Little bit of uh, thermal paste will help. So basically again you have to heat up this chipset. This chipset is based on N NVIDIA. Maybe I will take off camera and just show you closer. Is that chipset here? Okay, basically what we have to do is just to blow hot air in that chipset. The hot air is probably... can generate hot air from hot air gun. You can buy one or a higher one. And when you do it, assemble those things together. And you will see that your laptop will be back to life. Give me two seconds. I will do it again. So basically what is this? Assemble these things together. Heat sink. Some uh, paste for improving heat 
conductivity. Screws, four off. Of course, I will link that uh, my previous video on that video. So if you don't know what I'm talking about, about what the fault I'm talking about, you can... I will link those two films together. Okay, just give me two more seconds. I purposely filmed that video at home. If you can be sure you can do it at home using proper equipment. You don't have to pay a lot of money for this. You can do it by yourself. It's not difficult. If I can do it, you can do it too. That's the fan. It will blow air in it. Screws. I want to thank all of you who advised me that idea to blow hot air on that chipset I didn't film how that works because I really didn't believe that that will ever will work but as you can see in a couple of seconds that will work here you are, that's the lappy Yeah, there is a difference. This is the same laptop, as you can see. I didn't change the laptop, it's still the same thing as in previous video. And obviously it's back to life. Windows Vista. Might be not your favorite one, but... Uh, It's Windows Vista, that is why the start is very long, long. Okay, thank you very much for watching. Just hope you now can repair your laptop by yourself. You don't have to pay lots of money for service. Thank you very much for watching. Bye.